So you want to integrate an AI camera into your next industrial application. Of course you do. Object detection may be a great addition to your application, or anomaly detection may be the perfect solution to help you with unsupervised modes in your design. Or maybe you just want help identifying handwriting or defective labeling. Yep, an AI camera can help with all of that. But a full AI camera system may be rather complicated to implement. Sure, you've probably got a bunch of AI developers on your team, but how many optical experts do you have on staff? But what if you didn't need a slew of optical expertise and you could just concentrate on the AI models and have the hardware done for you? Sounds like we should talk about the Advantech AI iCam 500 industrial camera series. Hi, I'm Amelia Dalton, host of Chalk Talk. Artificial intelligence equipped camera systems can be a great addition to a variety of industrial designs. In this episode of Chalk Talk, Ryan Chan from Advantech and I explore the components included in an industrial AI camera system, the benefits of Advantech's AI iCam 500 industrial camera series, and how you can get started using these solutions in your next industrial design. And before we get started, don't forget to click that link. There you can find even more information about this topic from Advantech. Hi, Ryan. Thank you so much for joining me. Hi, thank you for having me. Absolutely. Okay, so we're talking about Advantech's industrial AI camera today. But Ryan, before we dig into the details, we're talking about advancement in manufacturing beyond Industry 4.0, right? Right. Correct. That's right. So over the past period, machine vision has experienced three waves of growth momentum. And what we see here is automation, industrial 4.0, and what we currently are in today with artificial intelligence. Each has various aspects that impact industrial manufacturing and the environment, including motivation, you know, industry, application, and technology. So let's start with each wave. With automation, what matters here is the production capability, capacity, the yield, and the precision. Early automation has mainly in the more mature industries include semiconductors, electronics manufacturing, uh, emotive industry, and the food and drug processing. For the type of application that we see here, we see it with under guidance, inspection, identification, based on the technologies previously involved where visualization is involved. Next is the industry 4.0, which is more of the developed market. The focus here was the energy production, the concurrent manufacturing, the big data that are driving the motivations for this stage. Various manufacturing industries are more experienced with this wave. We would like to call this more of like the IoT era. And now, recently with the global, we're focusing on more of the artificial intelligence. With the evolution of this wave in the artificial intelligence growth, we focus on remote manufacturing, adaptability, and relearning, which can drive the future growth not only focused on the manufacturing industries, but it's focused on all industries for artificial intelligence. That makes sense. Now, Ryan, can you give us some background? What does the adoption of AI in the computer vision market look like today? Sure. Based on this chart, in 2020, the global market for artificial intelligence and computer vision was valued at $16.5 billion dollars. Projections indicated that this market is expected to surge significantly, reaching $81.10 billion by 2028. The forecasted compound annual growth rate, the CAGR, for this period stands at an impressive 26.2, which is due to the robust and rapid expansion of AI-powered computer vision solutions across various industries now that we see. As we know it, the market is primarily segmented on the basis of type, product, function, application, and region. Based on the type segment, hardware is expected to hold the largest market capture in the computer vision market. The substantial market share can be attributed to the significant availability of the latest hardware platforms, so which enables effortless component interconnection and offer advanced functionalities like higher resolution megapixels, rapid processing, and fully digital data handling. So how does Advantech fit into this? 
As you know, Advantic is a hardware manufacturer, so we've been successfully able to develop a smart camera-based computer vision system catering to these various types of functionalities that you see listed here. Most of them are used in manufacturing and security surveillance type of applications. And so that's why I kind of wanted to bring up this product and help introduce this product to you today. Cool. Now, what does the integration of an AI platform look like? Can you walk me through the steps? Sure. Avantic has successfully developed a smart camera-based computer vision system, which comprises of several essential components that you see here. They all work together to capture, process, and analyze some type of visual information, some, whether it be an image or a video. And these key components typically found in such a systems are highlighted here, such as the camera sensor, which is a fundamental component of a smart camera as it captures the image or video streams in a given environment. Next is the optical lens, which is also a crucial component as it directly affects the image quality, such as the field of view, the focal length, the depth of field, and various other factors that impact the camera's ability to capture accurate and detailed images. And lastly is the lighting. Just as important as it directly impacts the performance and accuracy that's obtained, by ensuring optimal lighting conditions, the user can achieve better results, increase efficiency, and improve the decision-making capabilities overall. So iCam serves as an all-in-one integrated solution, specifically designed hardware to enable users to concentrate on AI software development. Fantastic. So let's talk about Advantech's solution in this space. Sure, thanks. So what I want to introduce to you today is the, our iCam 500 series, which is our industrial AI camera based on NVIDIA Jets and SOM. ICAM 500 was developed to help users lower the barrier of camera integration. This solution stands out as a unique, as only a few others provide this level of integration. The majority of AI developers lack the optical expertise required to integrate the necessary lighting or lens for their applications. So our solution reduces the burden on them by handling these aspects, making it easier for them to focus on their core task. ICAM incorporates also a programmable variable focus lens, advanced LED illumination lighting, and a Sony IMX industrial grade image sensor into its design. So regarding image quality capability, the ICAM comes equipped with a built-in hardware image signal processor, or what we call ISP. This feature efficiently handles the image processing, significantly reducing the processor's workload. And here's the general overview of NVIDIA's module specification in comparison with other modules. So what I wanted to highlight from this slide is that we have what we consider the entry level, which is based on NVIDIA's Jetson Nano, and we call that with the iCam 500. Next is the mainstream model with the use of the Xavier NX module, and we call that with the iCam 520. And then we're also developing our next-gen development based on the Orin NX module, in which that will be called our iCam 540, all of which is dependent on the type of application and performance is needed for each. Cool. So... Can you give me some more background about the different modules in this portfolio? And what does the hardware and software support look like? Sure. Here's a compiled table that could assist customers in selecting the product most suitable for the requirements, considering both the application and desired performance levels. Values here are based on NVIDIA's compute module benchmarking performance. So, for example, for customers with applications centered around object classifications, where you categorize objects in an image or video into a predefined class or categories, our entry-level ICAM 500 would be more than capable to do that. For customers with applications centered around AI OCR, anomaly detection, and some visual inspection, it is recommended to use ICAM 520. As certain visual inspection applications grow more complex, there will be a need for higher performance solutions. So in response to this demand, we're currently developing our ICAM 540, which will be based on the next NVIDIA or an NX platform. Fantastic. Okay. So Ryan, can we take a closer look at the details of this industrial camera? Sure. Here's our product portfolio that we have. What I wanted to highlight is our ICAM 520 and ICAM 500 standard product. And these products are available now today. So which customers can go out and purchase. We also have development kits, which will allow you to have plug and play accessibility in which the user can just start their AI development on that. Next, I also wanted to highlight the iCAM 540 and 502, which is our next generation design that we are currently developing. The iCAM 540 will be ready in Q4 of later this year, followed by the iCAM 520. For these next generation products, what I wanted to highlight is the hardware portion is that the necessary demand for the higher megapixel resolution performance camera sensor, 
And so that we will be developing with the Sony IMX334 8.3 megapixel camera sensor in there. In addition to the software portion, we'll be also using the upgraded Jetpack 5.1 and above for these two type of modules. Fantastic. Now, Ryan, can we take a closer look at this industrial camera? Sure. With this slide, I wanted to focus on the size and the form factor of the iCam. As you can see, the size is small and compact with a 5-inch length dimension, 3-inch width, and a 2-inch depth thickness. We included a rubber cover to seal the IOs that are not in use that you don't see here. But in terms of IO, we have HDMI, SD card, USB-C, and micro USB IO features. In addition to this, we have an LED status for user to monitor, as well as the use of M12 standardized connectors, which are commonly used in industrial automation applications. Along with being robust, they are waterproof as well. We also have the mounting holes from the front and the back, which makes it easier to be mounted in different types of environments. Overall, the enclosure is IP54 rated for mostly used in indoor applications. Okay, so what kind of support for the drivers or SDKs do you guys offer for the iCam 500 series? Our board support package, BSP, bundles the necessary drivers, SDK, and jetpacks needed for their users to focus on their development. So, for example, within the driver aspect, we provide the V4L2 or Video for Linux device driver, the board I.O. device driver, as well as all the necessary sensor drivers needed. This is all built into the provided Ubuntu Linux OS that's inside the iCam now. There's no need to install any AI runtime like NVIDIA CUDA or CNDNN, which is the deep neural network libraries, making it plug and play for the user. Along with the SDK, we also provide preloaded, pre-trained deep stream AI models to use to evaluate the performance of the camera. Okay, so can we take a closer look at the SDK in particular? Yes, of course. So this is our SDK architecture based on Ubuntu Linux system. We use the Ubuntu V4L2 device driver and also the device IO driver to capture the video imaging. In this framework, we develop what we call the CamNavi SDK, which is primarily used to control the overall use of the camera. From an application level, the user can use three different ways to capture the image, one being using the V4L2 video path, Another being using a Python application where the customer can use their own application or use an example from what we provided. And another is actually using the RTSP streaming protocol to be able to do that as well. Also, we have a scalable U3V driver and image sensor, and this is for the newer iCam 520 development, which would be able to use support USB camera interfacing. Great. Now, Ryan, you also mentioned a web-based UI earlier. Can you talk about that a bit more? Sure. The iCam's built-in web-based utility can be used to preview images and have control over camera settings, including the lens, the lighting, and digital I.O. functions. To do this, you can pretty much acquisition in four easy steps. IP camera discovery, meaning that we have a utility to discover any type of iCams in the network, making it easier to manage. So once we identify the IP based on that, we can use the web browser to initialize that IP to give us access to those camera settings. And then from there, we can dig deeper into more of the image capturing settings, such as control of the lighting, the aperture, the trigger mounts, and so on. Essentially, it's a web-based UI that we give for the users to just make it a lot easier for them to be able to access the camera without any type of coding or development needed on their end right away. Cool. Now, can you walk me through the workflow here as well? Sure. Here's a diagram of how to create and manage new projects using our built-in web utility. Not only you can manage the project, but you can control the settings and set the values in the camera. Customers can create new projects, set lightings and lens focusing and trigger models, as well as the image settings, such as pixel format, image parameters, exposure, gains, white balancing, and so on and so forth making it easier for a customer to interact with it without having to actually code anything in the back end. Great. Now, Ryan, can you walk me through some real-world applications for the iCam 500 series? Definitely. I wanted to briefly talk about the three major AI inspection applications of edge devices in the industry. And then also, I would like to share with you some of our use cases in which we have been successful in. Object detection is distinguishing and detecting objects that require the customer to collect various samples for labeling and classification. 
or anomaly detection, it's more of used of a unsupervised learning, which only requires a few simple images to learn. It's used to identify patterns, events, data points that deviate significantly from a, a normal or an unexpected behavior in the data set. So like anomaly detection can be rare events, errors, unusual patterns that do not conform to the typical behavior of data, which is the most common that we see now in quality assurance applications. And then we also have identification, or also known as AI OCR, optical character recognition. This is more of a mature technology to help identify text and handwriting, poor quality of printing, and or defective labeling. Okay, so here's a use case of our visual inspection application. We've seen this when a paper jar manufacturing company came to us essentially asking to improve their current working model. So the human visual inspection was taking approximately five seconds for each paper jar, which also came out with an error rate of 5%. Due to the improvement uh, and the use of ICAM 500, we were able to create an AI defect detection system that can inspect up to 33 paper jars per second which also achieves the accuracy rate exceeding 98%. The use of the ICAM 500 enables customers to control the equipment on the production lines, facilities, and removal of defective goods efficiently. So do you have any other examples you can share? Sure, I do. So here's another example related to the motion monitoring for factory safety. And the story behind this is that within the factory, an increase of accidents happening to the workers. So the demand for it is we would be able to create a device capable of detecting human limbs and halting operations of the equipment. So as you can see in these videos, the user is primarily working alongside of heavy machinery. And if a human limb is detected within the specific area, the equipment would stop, preventing an accident happening. Okay, now... Ryan, I would imagine that these solutions could be a great opportunity for traceability as well. Correct. As you know, the OCR, AI OCR, is our optical character recognition. It's a method used in computer vision that transform images containing text into formats and that can be edited and searched. You know, the primary challenges for OCR is, you know, managing the variations and the quality of text images which can differ from different languages, font size, orientation, layout, and background. We want to do AI plus OCR because we can support multiple and customized languages and fonts. We can support different types of handwriting from different people. And then we could also retrain and fulfill different user fonts. And so in which what we see with this type of applications, it's more in the EMS, semiconductor, passive components, we also see it in the packaging and food and beverage in terms of correcting, you know, confirming the correctness of a specific label and whatnot. Another use case is anomaly detection, is the identification of events or items that significantly deviate from normal. For this use case, we are using good products to train AI models to differentiate between the good and bad products. For example, on the right, we are using dip switches uh, and jumper settings on PCBAs before we ship out. We're visually inspecting, based on the images on the top, the correct switch position with what we see that is in the production line. So, for example, on the bottom, in the middle, we're matching the training results, which is an okay because as the diff switches are matching. But then on the right, as you can see an example of a no good condition, we see that it's inconsistent with the training results from the diff switch number labeled as number two. In addition to this uh, detection, we also see deviation from misalignment of the component itself. So, Ryan, what would you like my audience to take away from today's presentation? The iCam series is an all-in-one smart camera that integrates light sources, lenses, camera, and a computing platform all-in-one. The iCam smart camera is equipped with NVIDIA's AI computing platform, offering entry-level, mid-range, and high-end models for different AI-type applications. And Advantic provides a complete SDK, allowing users to begin development immediately upon plugging in. So what that means is you leave the hardware to Advantech and you focus on development on the AI model. So along with the key takeaways, I wanted to leave you with a highlight video of our ICAM 520. Well, Ryan, I think that's all I have time for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. And before we go, you didn't forget to click that link, did you? There you can find even more information about this topic from Advantech. For Chalk Talks, I'm Amelia Dalton from eejournal.com. For more Chalk Talks, head on over to the Chalk Talks section of EE Journal. You can't miss it, it's right across the top. Or head on over to YouTube, 
youtube.com slash eejournal.